Hello, everyone. Thank you for invitation to join this uh, discussion. Uh, before going into depth uh, 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 about the topic, I would just like to share some very good news from Croatia, where I come from. Uh, since the last uh, 10 days, uh, uh, we eventually, our municipalist green, green Left platform uh, has gained majority in City Council, meaning that uh, Zagreb City Parliament uh, has majority of the Green Left uh, uh, council members originating from municipalist platform Zagreb and Nash. And uh, on Sunday, we will be uh, hoping to uh, get a uh, green mayor who currently as a candidate of the municipalist platform has approximately 60 and more percent of the popular vote uh, according to surveys so uh, that means that in few days there is a huge probability that Zagreb will join a number of European cities uh, that uh, originate from municipalist movement and we'll be also able to join institutionally to uh, ecological transition in much higher, uh, with much uh, higher role. Uh, yes, as announced, uh, I would like to share uh, some insights uh, which we gained through our participation in Horizon 2020 project, which is called Empower. Uh, that uh, by now uh, it's not strange that, that except empowerment of citizens engaged uh, in cities in ecological transition it also means municipal power and uh, uh, I have personally been engaged uh, with other partners uh, uh, the project is led by University of Glasgow and Platform for London and also participated by uh, other organizations such as Carbon Cop uh, from Manchester, uh, University of Basque Country, TNI, uh, us, and uh, so uh, the project started uh, a bit more than three years ago, and we have been uh, uh, as IPE, as, as Institute of Political Ecology, we have been involved in. Uh, peer-to-peer -peer exchange uh, among cities and municipalities. Uh, there was a selection of 27 cities and municipalities across Europe, uh, bigger and smaller cities from UK, uh, Spain, uh, uh, Czech Republic, uh, Germany, uh, Croatia, Serbia, uh, from different corners of Europe to actually ensure and to make some sort of space for exchange of the peers, and by peers I mean people, the public officials and servants engaged uh, and employed in cities and municipalities uh, to share their experiences and to support each other in uh, in different uh, in supporting support each other in achieving different goals or uh, more specific goals uh, in uh, energy in ecolo ecological transition. And in this group of 27 cities and municipalities, there were five groups, the smaller groups working on three major topics, uh, the expansion of renewables, the energy efficiency, and local energy communities. So this, uh, these three topics uh, have been uh, explored uh, in depth uh, within uh, uh, among the participants originating from these 27 countries, uh, 27 uh, cities and municipalities, and uh, there was a very uh, relatively long and uh, intense process of sharing uh, structured ways of sharing uh, their insights and learnings. Uh, that were leading to actually uh, to development of so-called replication plans uh, that were then uh, uh, at in many cases at institutional and official level of cities uh, have been adopted, accepted, or fully or partially started to be implemented. 
the project is not yet over, but uh, these, some of these replication plans uh, have been so successful that they have been uh, they have been started to be implemented by some cities and municipalities uh, and we are waiting for uh, some very concrete exact results that of course can be measured by uh, reductions of CO2 emissions, a saving of energy uh, and uh, generation of uh, energy through renewables. Uh, yet, we, what we recognized uh, throughout the implementation of the project is, of course, that this is quite uneven at European level and that there are clear uh, inequalities and differences at European level between so-called core uh, Western and Northern Europe countries uh, and uh, uh, European periphery or semi-periphery particularly if we relate to South or to Southeastern Europe or Eastern Europe, where these uh, tendencies are still relatively, comparably relatively uh, weak or uh, at least weaker than in other parts of Europe. Uh, however, uh, municipalities and cities have been increasingly perceived as key players in meeting the challenges of working towards sustainable and low carbon future. And of course we recognize that uh, municipalities can play really a critical role in facilitating energy transition and in particular uh, wider public engagement. Uh, I will share with you the uh, link of the web of the website of the project so you can later use opportunity to dive deeper uh, into specific insights uh, and uh, what has been also one of the learnings uh, for this project is that uh, municipalities have been have uh, municipalities that have often highlighted their preference to follow examples uh, and demonstrate uh, demonstrated inclination to learn from it one another and some good examples of such good practices uh, were shared across the continent. Uh, yet there were some sort of limits uh, that were related to replicability of these municipal successes, very often linked to local conditions and to national context, to national legislation or cultural or organizational uh, cultural changes, uh, cultural differences or organizational cultures. Uh, we have, uh, we had at the beginning of the project, we had uh, research produced by University of Glasgow, which has stated that vast majority of municipalities in survey were generating already some sort of their own energy from renewable sources and that reducing energy need was also common uh, through mechanisms of public building retrofits. Where the progress was strongest was, was the progress was strongest where there was both municipal ownership and municipal capacity. Uh, yet there is a uh, what can be recognized throughout this project is also that uh, there is a really a great deal of political will which is located at municipal level to work towards decarbonization and uh, there is more and more uh, there are more and more cities uh, that collaborate uh, Europe-wide or internationally to uh, toward this same goal and that is now becoming uh, let's say some sort of emerging pattern that will probably last some time uh, and it can, to some extent, uh, respond to urgency uh, to uh, counter uh, climate change. And the biggest blockage often has been uh, stated as were uh, finances. Uh, although even even in this area, there were some innovations that uh, had some success, uh, and there were also some. Uh, innovation, uh, let's say, uh, uh, ideas that were based in innovation that actually produced 
some uh, novel approaches how to fund pilots uh, uh, in this field. Uh, peer, le peer learning uh, across municipalities has been uh, uh, clearly, uh, uh, it has been confirmed that peer learning or some sort of support uh, of uh, different cities uh, at different stage and with different experiences uh, that this was a sort of process that was lacking before and uh, that it can be very beneficial for peers and colleagues in, from different municipalities to understand obstacles uh, and to share uh, solutions that, uh, that can bring uh, certain uh, cities and municipalities closer to achieve uh, their carbon reduction goals. What uh, what uh, what is still to be uh, let's say learned in the next phase is that uh, there is a given the scale and the urgency of climate crisis uh, there is a need for action towards decarbonization across all levels of government and municipal level can be a very fruitful ground for innovation. Uh, but still there is a growing evidence that the dominant policy agendas are over, uh, often over-reliant on stimulating private sector to meet the challenge through the market. Uh, and that is often not deep, deep enough or systemic approach. Uh, biggest challenge, uh, as I already mentioned, is very evident uh, in difficulty to secure funding for transition. Uh, particularly, this is related to lack of to availability of national and inter, 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 international funding, uh, and uh, very often very volatile, offering only uh, unstable or periodical windows of opportunity of, uh, for municipalities. Uh, municipalities are also working uh, to address their often limited capacity through networks of citizen regions uh, and working together to share best practices. Uh, this has been particularly valuable in some countries uh, in southeastern Europe, in our case in Serbia and in Croatia, that often are lacking supportive national environments uh, to achieve energy transition goals. And uh, what was also one, one of the lessons learned was that uh, remunicipalization of the key energy infrastructure and services have been important mean for some local authorities to facilitate a faster transition uh, in the face of slow progress uh, by private firms. Uh, there is also a very, uh, uh, very extensive report uh, on this account and I can also share that with you uh, so you can also uh, use this opportunity to learn more uh, uh, once uh, the panel is once we leave the panel thank you mm -hmm.